Lulu, this, this all started with a credit trader in the London office. Tell us what happened next. What happened on this email exchange? That's right, Yvonne. The only black employee at CLSA's London office attempted to start a dialogue about race and Black Lives Matter. Um, he sent it out a he sent out a uh, email chain to more than a hundred employees at his firm. Um, and then what ensued was a reply all an email exchange between him and the head of CLSA's human resource. Um, while the head of HR told him that the company had no tolerance for racism and assured him that they were promoting, uh, encouraging him to have an open dialogue. Um, the HR also said that work emails were not a platform for non-work related matters. And that um, stirred a, a reaction from the staff and also the trader himself um, saying, and the trader said that he was disappointed that the company was seeing this as a non-work work-related issue. Um, so this is start, uh, sparking some debates within the firm internally about how the company could have handled this issue better. Lulu, what are the broad implications of this case for other Chinese companies looking to expand abroad? Well, I think what it shows is um, not only firms in China trying to expand abroad, but also all firms globally are, are trying to grapple with the issue about race and diversity. And we're already seeing how some firms, including Goldman and J.P. Morgan, uh, are very vocal about the matter right now. Um, in terms of for Chinese firms, the, um, based on the conversations we've had with recruiters and also management consultants, it does seem when they go abroad, um, diversity has um, traditionally been a less priority, uh, less of a priority for Chinese firms. But because their global peers are t are really trying to tackle this matter, it does prompt them to to take the to take a, a higher um, level of prioritization for for the issue of diversity as well. And how we heard from CLSA on this story, Lulu, how have they responded? So in their response to our queries, they said that at CLSA um, they don't tolerate racism and they are encouraging conversation, open dialogues at the firm. Um, the firm has assured that they have a diverse uh, employee um, mix-up where they employ more than uh, more, uh, where they employ more than 34 nations um, of employees uh, at the firm right now. So I think the firm is trying to address this matter better.